Hey guys. I actually had another video idea that I thought might be really helpful for you. Um, I actually have four, well, I have more than four, but I have four different ages of squirrels. Um, and a lot of the time when we get phone calls, people will say, I have a baby and I'm not sure how old it is. And sometimes we'll get in like a big, almost adult squirrel that's eating on their own and rambunctious and definitely didn't need to be brought in. And then sometimes we will get, you know, something on the phone. Oh, I have a baby squirrel. I'm not sure how old. And it will be a little guy that needs to come in. And this will be a good way for you to be able to identify what age group you're at. Um, my first example here, let me grab him out, is this little guy. Um, he's about a week old. He is just starting to get a dark color pigmentation. He has a little bit of whiskers that are coming in here. And he doesn't have his eyes open, he doesn't have his ears up. He still has those black squirrel nails. Um, and he's really, you can see his body's very tiny. Um, he's obviously has good energy. Um, another thing you can look for in the belly, do you see this little white line? If that white line exists, that's called a milk line. That means that there's milk in the belly and he's not starving. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. You. But you can see how there's that little white line. It's really, um, it's not obvious when they don't have it, but it's obvious when they do have it. So if you find one of these little guys, he has a beautiful milk line there, you can try and reunite that one with mom. If you find one of these guys, he's lethargic, he's sluggish, he's dehydrated looking, um, and he doesn't have that line, then we'd wanna go ahead and see him in because this guy is only eating milk from mom right now. Obviously, he doesn't have his eyes open, he doesn't know where he is, you know, it's best to get them back with mom or get them to a rehabber. My second example here, and let me clean him up just a little bit, all right, is this little guy. And I actually had him in a video before. Um, he's gotten a little bit bigger, he had some puncture wounds, but they've healed very nicely and he's gotten quite a bit fatter. Um, so. If you see, his eyes are still closed. He has hair all over his face. Ears are starting to perk up a little bit and he's got this big round belly. But you can see, and you can see right here, he's got a little bit of chub, so you know he's well fed. He's got a big round Buddha belly. Um, he's not, a lot of times when they're too thin, you could see these really distinct bones in the back. You could see the spine very distinctly. Um, but he is about three weeks old now. Uh, he's doing very well. He's a very healthy looking guy, other than those little punctures that actually did heal really well, but they left a little bald spot. Um, another thing you can look at is the tail. This tail is nice and clean and it's, you know, not um, bald at all. Sometimes the tail will be bald or you'll see the bones, the individual vertebrates in the tail. And the same is true for the little bitties. Um, it's more of this age. And possums is if you see those little vertebrates in the tail, it's a sign of dehydration. And you can see them sometimes with the squirrels too, and that's bad news. So those are things to look for. And the same, I mean, this age, you can kind of see the milk line. I'm sorry. Well, you're starting to not be able to see that milk line anymore. It's starting to go away because he's covered with fur. Um, but you know, they'll cry or, you know, they'll be lethargic, sluggish. Anytime you see flies or any other bugs around them, those kind of things, we'd want to see him in. If you found a guy that looked just like this and he was warm and fat and happy, I'd try and reunite him with mom. All right, I put these guys back and I'm gonna get my next example. week old squirrel maybe a little more maybe closer to five say hello she just opened her eyes a couple of days ago oh yeah they're still working on opening that eye but um you can see smaller um a little bit you know a bit, bit bushier tail it's starting to actually get some character to it eyes are opening fur everywhere ears are perked up this girl is still only eating formula um, so she needs to be with mom 24 seven. Right now you can start to see them on occasion like nibbling at stuff, but really they're just starting to become a little more active, just starting to become a little more independent, but still totally need their mom. So if you, f hello, if you find one of these and they are crying or following you around or they seem really lethargic and cold, we would wanna get some help for her. Um, otherwise, 
you know, if she was fat and happy and warm, we'd try and reunite her with mom too. All right, let's pop you back in. I know. I know, I know, we're frustrated. She's mad that I pulled her out and didn't feed her. Okay. And lastly, ugh. I don't care which way you go. Here we go. This is about six weeks old. Oh, and I grabbed my two young one, actually. You're not six weeks. You're going on almost six weeks. We're getting there. Hold on. Let me grab one more girl out of here. This is the one I wanted to grab. She has eyes open. Ears are normally up. She's a little nervous right now because she doesn't know what I'm doing. Um, she's a little... I think I grabbed the wrong one. I think you're five weeks old. <laughs> this is the one that actually just opened her eyes last week too. As you can see, very similar to the other one with that little bit of bushy tail. We have eyes are open, but she's still like, what the heck are you doing? Still eating completely from mom. Um, this one's actually very sweet. You're very sweet, aren't you? Again, always try and reunite with mom first. That's always the best idea. And then from there, we try to, um, yes, I grabbed a boy. And from there, we try to troubleshoot and try and get them into rehab. I have my little girl in here too. She must be hiding. There we go. I know, I know. Okay, well, she doesn't want to hold still, but this is a good sign. <laughs> you can see she's a little bit older. Um, she is eating a little more solids. She is still needing mom's milk, which is very important. And she is just scared to death right now, so I'm gonna put her back. But the older they get, the hold, oops. The older they get, the harder they are to handle, the more rambunctious they are, and that's what we wanna see. So if we're getting them in and they're lethargic and they're sleepy and they're not doing very good, those are bad signs. So I hope that helped. I know that was a couple different age groups. Um, anything bigger than that, they start to eat on their own a little bit more. They're a little more independent and it's a little bit harder to tell who is totally on their own and who's not. But always contact your local rehabber and I hope that was helpful. Thanks.